Hey, what's up guys? Good to see you again. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use the extrusion tools that is provided in the 1001 bit tools plugin. So right now I'm just creating a profile. just creating a path and then trying to lift it up So let's just try out the tool. So what we need to do first is to actually select the path and then press the tool. Then select our face and then pick a reference point at the profile and then just need to place it out on the path. And you could see how the path is actually extruded along the, I mean, the profile is actually extruded along the path that we just selected. And I'm just going to copy that and then compare it with the normal follow me tool. So for the follow me tool, you kind of need the profile to be directly perpendicular to the path. So I'm just choosing the profile and selecting the reference point. And you can see how different the extruded profile is trying to remain flat as it goes up. Which is pretty useful if you want to make roads or highway, which is always remain flat or directly perpendicular to the vertical plane while the normal follow me tool would just actually just extrude along the path without trying to maintain being perpendicular to the vertical plane So for the third path, I'm just trying to show you how to create an extruded profile just by selecting a different reference point in the profile. You could see how choosing a different point in the profile could affect the final outcome of the extruded profile just trying to create a bigger path to show the possibility of using this tool as a tool to create a highway Creating a highway just using the normal follow me tool could be a pain in the butt 
because it doesn't actually show you how roads in real life should look like. So look how the final roads are actually formed. If you select the whole path and then just put a profile on it, it looks like a pretty decent road if you ask me. Just trying to bring the profile in front. Trying to size up the profile itself. And look at how easy using this tool to create roads. You just select the profile and then the path and then determine where you want to start your points from the profile. And then there you have it. There's your road right there. Unlike using the follow me tool, where you need to adjust the profile for every single junction. So right now I'm just further experimenting with the profile tool. So let's just try it out with the traditional follow me tool. Just going to align it with the line. Select all of the paths. Select the follow me tool. And look how messed up the whole thing is. And then one more thing about using the traditional follow me tool is to the work it takes to just align the profile with the path. It just takes so much work. And the profile that's been produced here is not even similar to a real life route. And as you can see, the horizontal road is now slightly slanted because the follow me tool actually followed the path without trying to be perpendicular to the horizontal plane.